a launcher for Android with 3D transitions, reflections, and a physics engine built in? I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now, and this may be the most visually impressive launcher that we've ever seen. This is my Nexus 4, and on it I'm running a new launcher called Vire Launcher. It's in beta, and it's available in the Google Play Store right now for free. Now, on the surface, this looks just like any other launcher. You've got icons, you've got widgets, you've got your dock down at the bottom, and of course you've got your buttons. You also have your menu key down here, which is where you go into your settings and to add stuff and all kinds of stuff. We'll get into that in just a minute. The first thing that I want to show you is, if you notice up here on this clock widget, you'll notice a reflection. Now that reflection isn't coming from a light or a window in my office. No, that reflection is based on what's built into this launcher. And as I tip the device, it knows its orientation and it knows where to place that reflection. And it, it's just cool. That's actually rendered on device. Next, let's take a look at transitions. See the hat? Looks like a big sheet of glass that just flips around and then of course the glass disappears when you're looking at it face on. But very nice, very fast, chamfered edges. I don't know if that's Gorilla Glass or not, but uh, let's hope they got a license to do so. Very cool. That's only one of several transitions that I'm sh gonna show you, but what I wanna show you first is how these widgets look and how they function. This is just a regular widget. I've got regular icons on my screen, but if I pull down on my clock, you'll notice I have a new tray. This tray can hold both widgets from Vire Launcher, Android widgets, shortcuts, icons, the whole thing. And this is actually a two-state dock, so I can continue to pull it down and get even more stuff. And you notice when I did that, I had kind of a, a flare around my finger indicating a, a screen press. Very, very cool. If I want to add something new to this, I simply tap and hold. I can add an application, a widget, uh, via applet is what they call them, or via shortcuts. Let's look at via shortcuts. So let's go ahead and put in a uh, web browser right here, and let's tap and hold again and add another shortcut to my app drawer. Speaking of app drawers, let's go ahead and jump into that. Kind of a window inside this, we can change what we're looking at from all applications to my personal user apps, recent apps, I haven't run many recent apps since I launched this particular launcher, and then my most used applications, and then a clear button so we can clear those if we need to or if we want to. I'll say no for the time being. And then of course back to all of our applications. It's very fast, very fluid. You can see my screen taps there lit up by a glow. So really cool. What we want to look into, uh, this is very fast by the way, they say it's going to run fast even on very slow devices, so if you've got an older device, go out, download this, test it, and let us know in the comments how it behaves. What I really want to show you is some of these other 3D transitions. To get to those, we're going to come down here to Menu, go into Settings, and we've got all these cool things. Reflections were enabled by default. I did turn on HD shaders, which is uh, allowing me to use real-time reflections in transition effects. And full screen transitions was on by default. We can change the launcher theme. It came at outline. I changed it over here to basic because I like the icons, the way they look a little bit better. But transitions, that's what we want to see. So let's start out. We're in crystal right now. Let's look at tiles. Go back home. Take a look at this. You see that? All the tiles just kind of block in and block out, and it's fast. If you want to show it off or want to see it, you can swipe across slowly, just not too slowly, because you'll do what I just did. <laughs> but pull it across, and wow, it's just pretty. Let's go ahead and look at some other transition effects. This one is called Cube Free. It kind of zooms out and puts your home screens, your panels, in this cube that then you rotate between. Very cool transition effect. I like the way they handle the wallpaper. Just very smooth, very neat. Here we've got the basic transition, and that's just a basic side-to-side -side slider. It doesn't show you the outline of the page as you're sliding side-to-side, -side, which I kind of miss, but it's still very nice, very smooth, and even when you're in mid-transition, you've still got that really nice reflection 
just you've got to see this to really understand it and to really appreciate it. There are a whole bunch of other transition styles in here that we've seen before. Going back to cube, we have a cube in and cube out that are essentially what we've seen in other launchers. Fade in, fade out, scroll in, scroll out, flip, uh, just all kinds of stuff. Overall, the one I like best, however, is crystal that I showed you up front that looks like you're just sitting on a nice sheet of glass. Just very nice, smooth fluid. Go ahead and download it from the Play Store. Let us know what you think in the comments over at PocketNow.com. I think you are going to be very, very impressed. If you are and you like what you saw, give the video a thumbs up. And while you're at it, why not share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. For Pocket Now, showing off even more cool launchers like the Vire Launcher, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.